that big mouth. <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone, this is Joanna and welcome to Moonwater Tarot. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. I very much appreciate it. So I wanted to say that. And also remember that these are readings. Now the, the readings I'm doing now are for March 2016. And because I'm reading for so many of you at the same time, they may not resonate with you. So one thing I wanted to say is I do offer private readings. You can go to my website, which is moonwatertarot.com, and I would love to do a private reading for you. And I do also offer the videos that I send to your email. So just wanted to share that with you. So let's go ahead and get on with the readings. All right, bye. Hi Leo, this is your reading for March 2016. And let me just focus here for you. Okay, March 2016, what are the messages? What are the messages? Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups, the Nine of Swords, Oops. the Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and then we'll put this card here. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So let me make sure that you can see this. Okay, Leo. So I moved the camera closer, so hopefully you can see this better. Um, we do have some heavy cards here, but we have some very beautiful cards here. I'm feeling a lot of different things and there's messages coming left and right. So I'm just going to start talking. And if I repeat myself, I apologize. I feel like for some of you in um, March, but I feel like for some of you, this has already happened where there is contemplation over this could be uh, work related or definitely a relationship where you are physically together, but it's not connecting. And uh, so you're trying to either work or decide, do we go ahead and make this work or do we go ahead and, and go our separate ways? That's one thing I'm picking up. Another thing that I'm picking up is that this is a loss in terms of money or work. And uh, especially with this card, it's almost like I feel like there's a holdout or maybe you're holding out for a better offer for something stronger to come your way because maybe it's a lot less money than your previous job and you just, you know, you can't afford to to accept it. It's almost like as if you, maybe you're on unemployment and it's almost, you know, what unemployment is. So you're waiting for something better to come along or with higher pay. And it's very taxing. I mean, look at these cards. You, you know, um, there may be some sleepless nights. Now, one thing I want to say, too, is that this definitely may have been um, a loss. Uh, I feel like if it was some, some passing, I feel like it's already happened, but, uh, I'm, I'm feeling it that way. What I want to say is be careful because I'm picking up alcohol. 
So I don't know. I feel like somebody is having a difficult time dealing with some kind of loss, whether it's a relationship, whether it's work, whether it's a marriage or um, finances, and they may be drinking a little too much or doing something that's not very healthy, uh, you know, it's not benefiting you. And if it's not you, this could be somebody around you, a loved one or a a family member or a friend. Now, I also feel that it's important that I, I'm picking up that there's some somebody out there that's having also difficulty in terms of getting pregnant. And uh, I feel like that is going to turn around. And definitely have, you know, go to your doctor and make sure everything um, is okay. Because I feel like for someone or maybe a few of you, something is off balance that maybe could be, you know, easily fixed. Now, what I like about, even though this card is here, uh, this oftentimes, especially with these cards, um, can definitely be very heavy energy in terms of, whether it's depression or loss of some kind, as I stated earlier, or there is a situation that just keeps happening over and over and over again. Oftentimes, um, that's what this represents to me. It's or OCD. It's just like it you know, that obsessive compulsive disorder. And I do feel that there is help out there, no matter what this is, that things are going to turn around. I almost feel like somebody has been offering help and some of you aren't taking it. Like somebody definitely has has said, look, I'm here. And it's like they're letting you know even louder because I'm almost seeing like, see how this cup is small and then the, it gets bigger. So like something is going to increase in size. I don't know if this is a, an offer in terms of money, uh, your chances of something happening get stronger as March goes on. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Growth. Something is growing. And, well, it could be a child <laughs> now that I think about it. But I, I feel like I'm getting helping hands. So if somebody is lending you their hand and they're doing it in a beautiful, loving way, then it's okay to ask for help. Because I'm almost feeling like, um, for, for some of you, there's, there's a pattern of behavior that is not healthy. And there's a need to, to stop this. Whether it's a, a, a dynamic of, you know, a relationship, at home, family, work, friends. Uh, I feel like there's a, just a need to let go. And, and it just, you know, I even feel that there could be something out there in terms of like if you went to the doctors, it's almost like I'm seeing this as there's a solution or... Um, don't know medicine or something might help with the situation I don't I'm not sure you know that would probably uh, be for one person but I am picking that up so but it's you know these cups just seem I I don't know I'm just kind of looking at them now some of you may have it may come down to two situations or two people or two jobs or two things that come into play in March and you have to pick between one or the other. That's, a, that's another way that I'm seeing it. So it might be overwhelming that maybe for some of you, there's too many choices. Um, 
And you know, you just you're confused because I'm almost seeing this as um, like you don't know what to do regarding um, a particular situation. So let's see what's in the outcome here. I do want to say this, that I am picking up also uh, very much like a, uh, for some of you, you're going to hear somebody is pregnant. Um, but I also feel like this could be regarding marriage or a wedding or an engagement, like somebody is offering their hand in marriage. I just heard that. So, uh, so that's very beautiful. Uh, and I also am picking up traveling. I don't know if I said that some of it might be by water. There's a lot of water here and, you know, snow melts into water. So I feel like what's dark and cloudy starts to increase to get more clarity. You know, it, it's like there's an angel around you. Uh, a blessing. A blessing is coming in. This could be a, a, a person coming in too. Especially with the Page of Cups. And it could be a water sign which is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, doesn't have to be, but we do have all these cups right here. I also feel that, you know, there's a, a, a need to come out of uh, your shell or to, I don't know, hide, like something's being hidden. I don't know, this could be a pregnancy that's being hidden. Or maybe uh, somebody... I don't know. Somebody's worried about a pregnancy. I don't know. There's there's worry here, but I feel like you're going to have help and support. So let's see what's in the outcome position. Oh my gosh, the six of, the six of swords. Um. Oh wow. See, because this talks about. Well, first of all, there's three people. So some of you may have a choice, but you know, this also reminds me, I mean, it looks like a child there. So it's almost like, um, I don't, this could be, especially with the four of cups, this could be moving. You might be moving because of a job offer. You might be moving because a child is coming. Uh, so this could be, I don't know, this could be that your, you know, grandchildren are, are arriving or you're moving because you need a bigger place. Or um, as I stated with the, maybe there's a possible job offer that is going to, um, you have to move in order to take it. But what I like is from this heaviness or these, even these waves here, see how it's kind of wavy here, just like here, but look, it gets smooth. It's not, it's from these waves, things start to smooth out. And if you look at it, because these cards go in this direction, See, it's like wavy and then it's and it's smooth here and we're we're moving from wavy to something smoother. Now, you know, some of you it could be that you finally make a decision whether for positive or negative to move away from something that is not, you know, that's just happening over and over and over again. And there could be some, you know, I like this card much better in the upright than in reverse. But, you know, sometimes there's a little reluctancy. So maybe, I don't know if you're reluctant to take the help that's being offered. Or if you're reluctant to move. 
or move forward. And for some of you, this might be moving away, moving away from a situation or a person that, I mean, you know, could be driving you crazy a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm sort of speak, but you know, where there's just these, uh, these patterns of, uh, behavior and, and, and some of it could be your own mental imprisonment or your own mental worries. I, I just get, you know, from sitting down to you're standing here, if this is representative of you and here you're balancing, things are becoming more balanced. So I think that this is like moving in a very positive direction out of something that maybe wasn't so positive, but it was a learning, a growth experience. And like I said, some of you may have a decision to make. It might just be, you know, um, a, 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 like I said, an, an offer comes in or there's two offers and you have to pick one. So I think it's uh it's a beautiful reading, it's a beautiful outcome, uh, Leo. I hope you have a fantastic march. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye.